In Balloon CD Battles, there is an achievement that's so hard to unlock, only 0.6% of players have this achievement, according to Google Play. To unlock this achievement, you need to get a 20 win streak. If you wanted to get this achievement easily, you'd probably go into Yellow Stadium or Assault Mode because that's where all the easy opponents are. But I'm not looking for something easy, I'm looking for a challenge here, so we are going into Moet Pit R3 Speed Bonanza. And I'll see if I can get a 20 win streak in this arena. So if I have farm as one of my towers in random trio speed bonanza, what I like to do is I first send four sets of blues and then I place my farm, place my farmer and then upgrade my farm to 1-0. That's my usual start if I have farm as one of my towers. So the blues are gonna cause him to... Oh, he actually built a heli. So I'm going to be up at farm since I'm spending my money on building this plantation, whereas he's spending money on that heli. He could have defended using lightning bolts and just went for his plantation. That would probably be a better move. Uh, now he's sending me some reds. I'm just going to farm and I will use lightning to just defend these reds that he is sending me. And I'm just going to try to get a farm advantage. Now I am up by about one plantation or maybe even more than one plantation so that's great he's sending me blues now i'm gonna use another lightning i'll send him some blacks to try to force him to get quad darts and yep he went for quad darts he could have just used lightning to defend that but he's just gonna buy defense again and now he's gonna use fertile soil i'll use my last lightning um Okay, I'm going to... Oh, wow, I'm down to 18 lives. Okay, that's that's pretty low. I don't think I should greed anymore. Let's just get enough defense to defend whatever he's sending me. And it's round 6, so he could be sending me yellows. I'm going to send him yellows to force a Razor Rotors. I'm pretty low on lives right now. Uh, okay, he has a Razor Rotors and a second heli that should be able to defend quite easily. Okay, I don't think I need to send any more yellows since he has two Razor Rotors that's going to be able to defend just fine. Um, I'm placing my second heli. So round 8, he could send me pinks or space Uh Not really scary. Oh, I forgot to use my Fertile Soil, so I'm going to use it right now. Let's go for another facility. I can buy it soon. So round 11, he could send me Regen Rainbows, and I should be able to defend it if I just buy an Apache. Another option would be to get a Spike Storm. Okay, next round I can send him Rainbows. I am really up in farms. I don't know why he is so down in farms. Let's send him some Rainbows. And I'm going to get an Apache with Camo Detection. Let's buy Razor Rotors. Target that to Follow Touch and get Camo Detection. He might be dead. Uh, no, he has two Apache, so he is going to be able to survive this. So this will probably go late game. Uh, I'm just going to fill the whole map with farms. That's usually what you have to do if you have farm as one of your towers. You just have to spam farms all over the map to get as much money as possible. So that um, you can defend late game. I don't think I can fit a farm there. Okay, I'll place it here. Oh, nice. I can fit a heli over here. Follow touch. Um, I guess I could use the rest of my space for putting spike factories. Because I don't think a heli will fit in this small crater. Just gonna spam spike storms. So round 18, we can send him fast cooldown moabs. But that's not gonna do much against uh, Apache. Round 20, I can send him fast cooldown BFBs. That could be a significant rush. He might die to fast cooldown BFBs, but we'll see what happens. Just gonna spam these. Ooh, get a third Apache. Now I have like 400, 500k. So I am pretty rich right now. I am pretty sure I have more money than him, which is always good. Round 20, I'm going to send him fast cooldown BFBs. I don't know if he will survive that. I just realized I still have one Fertile Soil left. Might as well use it. The game should be ending uh, within a few rounds. So I'm just going to spam him fast cooldown BFBs. Don't know if he can survive this. He has four Apaches. 
will it be enough he is using some spike storms he's doing some spike storm micro but it looks like he is upgrading his spike storm to 1-4 instead of 2-4 um, if he upgrades it to 2-4 he won't need to worry about leads but I guess that's not really an issue so I guess what he's doing is fine uh, let's build more spike storms because round 22 is coming soon and he could be sending me fast cooldown BF, uh, fast cooldown zero MGs, which is going to be pretty scary okay round 22 is right now gonna spam more spike storms and gonna continue sending him zero MGs. why is he not sending me he should be sending me zero MGs right now because I don't think this loadout will defend fast cooldown zero MGs. maybe it will if you're really good but I don't think my opponent is that good no offense, and yep, he does go down to the fast cooldown of the OMGs, and that's going to be our first win. Here's game 2, and we've got a pretty good opponent. He is 81st global and 115th prestige. I'm going to skip this map because I'm not very confident of beating him on this map, because we had Cobra Farm, Heli, and Indoor Pools, and that's kind of scary. Um, so now we have Ice Low with Tech, Mortar, and Bomb. I would much prefer playing with these towers. Let's just start sending Ritz. Uh, I think I will start with Attack Shooter. Oops. He's going to start with Mortar. Mortar is not going to be good for um, Pinks if I send him next round. I'll send him one set to make him panic. Then I'm just going to continue ecoing with Blues. Okay, he gets a Burnie stuff and a Blade Shooter, so that will defend. Um, so... We've got Spike Storm, Range Boost, and Rubber to Gold. We've got Tech, Mortar, and Bomb. Um, round 11 will be pretty easily defended using a Maelstrom. Round 12, Camos can be defended using Signal Flare. Um, a Moab, we can defend using Moab Maulers and Maelstrom. A BFB would be slightly difficult we've got to spam some moab maulers or maybe moab assassins and maelstroms fast cooldown bfbs could be a problem that would be that would start to get difficult and fast cooldown zomgs i think this loadout will not defend uh let's place a second no a third blade shooter so fast cooldown zomgs is definitely gonna destroy this strategy so fast cooldown zomgs unlock on round 22 I could also rush with a single ZOMG round 20 or fast cooldown BFBs round 20. So my three options for rushes would be round 20 fast cooldown BFBs or round 20 slow cooldown ZOMG followed by fast cooldown BFBs or round 22 fast cooldown ZOMGs. That's my three main options to rush him with. Um, I th think... Round 20, uh, a slow cooldown ZOMG followed by fast cooldown BFBs could be good. Um, the ZOMG will definitely be difficult to defend. Okay, round 11 is here. Let's build a signal flare. We need to buy this for round 12 because there's going to be camels. Going to get a second signal flare. So if he rushes me, I'm just going to build a blade maelstrom and easily defend. Whoa, he is over defending. He has an artillery battery and... Um, I don't know what this one is called. The 3-2 the mortar. Uh, he's using rubber to gold. Maybe I should use it too. Um, I think I want to save my last rubber to gold for when I am um, defending the all-out on round 20 or 22. So it's okay to use one right now. Mm. So if I'm gonna all-out on round 20, I have to stop going round... 16 but I'm, I'm still not sure if i should all out round 20 because it could be defendable by spamming mortar stall mm, it's gonna be hard though uh let's let's stop e going right now and i'll build i don't know if i should be building more assassins or just more molars ah uh, these choices are difficult so he could send me a BFB right now. I'm not too scared because I know how to defend that. Just um, just Maelstrom, the, the ceramics, basically. Um, this will be my, my Mortar Micro Spot, I guess. Hmm. 
this defense isn't very good. Okay, so my plan is yeah, round twenty I'll I'll send a slow cooldown ZMG and then fast cooldown BFPs. Now, okay. And then if he counters me, I'll just mortar micro. I'll just spam my artillery battery and it's gonna stall his rush. Let's see if he's gonna rush me. No rush, no rush from him. I'm gonna be rushing him with oh okay. Here's the rush. Um, okay, just spam motor stall. Oh, I can actually millstrom this. Millstrom. Uh, right, let's use rubber to. Oh, okay. Uh, it's pretty scary. Okay, let's. It's so hard to fit these motors, which is pretty scary. It's pretty sketchy. Wait, he actually did fit. Oh, okay, it's around 20. I just. Re oh! He died. Oh, I, I thought he was gonna defend, so I was going to send fast cooldowns to UMGs. Game 3 now, we've got an easy opponent, but I'm not gonna let my guard down. I'm still gonna play to the best of my abilities. As usual, if you don't have farm, the best start would be to just send reds. Um, if you have cobra, then just build a wired funds, but yeah, I don't have cobra. I'm gonna start with a ninja double shot. Looks like my opponent's doing the same, but his ninja is in a weird spot because I don't think it can reach. I don't think it can reach here, so it's not very good. Like my ninja can reach the top, it can reach the middle, and it can reach the bottom, so it's a pretty good, pretty solid ninja spot. Uh, there's also salted wounds, so I don't want to be leaking any lives. Um, on the other hand, I think my opponent is going to leak. Let me send some. He's already leaking. It doesn't. He doesn't seem to be leaking on my screen, but he is actually leaking. Okay. Uh, let's build Blunjitsu. He also has a Blunjitsu. I don't think a Blunjitsu is going to leak to greens. It's going to be able to defend just fine. Um, round 6, he could send me yellows. Oh, right, right. We have snipers, so I'm going to stop ecoing right now, actually, to um, save up money to buy a supply drop. Because in Bonanza, there's this trick where you can just micro the supply drop ability and it's going to give you so much money. Because when you micro the supply drop ability, I think you lose about 2,000 from um, selling the sniper because you only get 80% of the price back. But um, the thing is, in Bonanza, you get three to 4,000 from the supply drop, if I remember correctly. So... In the end, you profit from using the supply drop ability and selling the sniper. And I'm just going to keep on doing... Oh, he's sending pinks now. So I probably need a bit more defense. Let's just get a second Blunjitsu. We'll be able to afford it just fine. And I'm just going to spam these sniper abilities. And it's just going to give me money. So these, I kind of wish I had a farmer, but I, <laughs> I don't get access to farmers since... I don't have farm. Don't have farm in this loadout. Um, and now I can afford two, uh, two supply drops, actually three. So I'm just going to micro the third one. Now I probably can afford four. Okay, four now. Mm, this is pretty intense. It feels weird that I'm trying so hard against an opponent that um, doesn't even have 10,000 medallions right now. Okay, um, can probably keep the fourth supply drop right now. I can probably keep the fifth and sixth one too. Okay, and I'm just gonna get money, just gonna get a lot of money. It's nice. Um, okay, so we gotta think of what round I am supposed to all out him. Um, so we've got Sniper, Ninja, Super. Um, I can use Ninja to stall balloons. I can use Super Monkey. Uh, I can use Tech Terror ability. So I don't think any balloons are going to kill us before round 30 because ZOMGs are going to be very easily defended by. Um, using sabotage supply lines and tech terrorists because 
this map is just so okay. Um, none of my snipers can see lead because they don't have the first tier upgrade. Looks like my opponent is kind of copying me. He's kind of doing the same thing I'm doing. I don't know if he's microing the supply drop ability. I'm not looking at his side, but I do know that he is building a bunch of supply drops to act as farms. Which is a good thing to do. That's what he's supposed to do. Uh, okay, I don't think I need to sell the supply drops anymore. I have 40k. Okay. I have so many supply drops right now. I probably gotta keep some space for my super monkeys eventually. Yeah, I, I don't need to sell these supply drops. Okay. It was so much, so many crates. I'm kind of destroying this guy right now. Oh, it's round 23. I can use some of the money to send him ZUMGs to pester him. It's gonna make him lose some money, probably. It's probably gonna hurt him more than me. Okay, let's send more. Can he defend this? Is he good enough to defend ZUMGs? It's not too difficult to defend this because he just needs to use Sabo and then uh, some tech terror abilities will take care of it. But I don't know how good this guy is. Uh, let's send a few more ZUMGs. Okay, we've got five more supply drops, six more. Let's just keep using these. Wow, so many crates, so many crates. Okay, I sold my Blunjitsu to get more space to build these supply drops. I don't think he's defending. Look, the, the ZUMGs are halfway through the map. 10 supply drops. No, just gonna spam him with ZUMGs. Uh, looks like we've got a Sabo power, might as well use it. Look at this, the supply drop micro is OP. So many crates right now. This guy is getting destroyed. Okay, six more, seven more supply drops to use. Okay, I've just got so many supply drops right now and it looks like he's about to go down to that rush. Yep, he goes down. My map is halfway filled with supply drops and his map is filled with ZOMGs. Game 4 now, we are playing against Omega Men 30, mm, this guy is 331st place global, not bad, not bad. We are playing Yellow Brick Road, Bomb, Engineer, Chipper, Spike Storm, Big Bloons, Slow, and Crowded Bloons. I'll probably start with Engineer because that's gonna be the cheapest for early game. Just gonna buy a 2-0 NG and send him Ritz. Send some Ritz by a 2-0 NG. Okay, can't afford the 2-0. Now I can. Oh, he's going to go for the 0-1. That's a good spot. Targeting last. Um, I also want to get a Bloon Trap to just collect money off the Bloons that he's sending me. Oh, I'm actually going to leak. Dang. His defense is actually better than mine. Well played, well played, well played. Okay. Uh, let's try to get a Bloon Trap soon. Um, I could actually use the Spike Storm to... Um, like I sell all my NGs and I'm, I buy a Bloon Trap and then I use Spike Storm to clean up the Bloons. Or I could just spam 0-0 zero, zero NG. Mm. Okay, this sells for one, 1k, this sells for 300. So that's 1360. Uh, yeah, should have enough right now. Just gonna leak a bit. Yep, some leaks, but it shouldn't really matter. Actually, NG is the only camel detection I have, apart from Spike Storm. So, hmm. I'm gonna have to spam a lot of balloon traps so that I don't die to camel. Okay, let's build a bomb. This will take care of any balloons that get past my balloon trap. 
I also want to build a second bloom trap soon. Let's go for a second bloom trap. Oops. Sand pink, second bloom trap. Can almost afford it. Ah, uh, almost there. Okay. Just gonna continue sending pinks. Um, round 12, we could send him camo pinks. And he might die to camel pinks if he doesn't have enough cleansing foams and balloon traps. Because camels um, are only detected by balloon traps, which is pretty scary. But if he's smart, he'll pro probably just spike storm to defend. Oh, it's round 12 already. Okay, let's try some camel pinks. Will he defend this? Actually, I don't think this rush is worth it because he will just defend with a spike storm, so. Yeah, don't think it's worth uh, the money. What I could do is... It, oh, he's rushing. He's rushing. Um, I don't see the rush. Okay, he used Crowded Bloons, but I, I'm not dead, so that's okay. I think maybe he used Crowded Bloons to send more pinks. Uh, I think I'll just do that. So when can we rush him? Um, actually, round 18... We could rush him with a, B, uh, a BFB and some camels. It could get past. Um, like the BFB is gonna destroy all the cleansing foam and then the camels could get past. That could be a plan. Oh, there's also chipper and I just realized you can use chipper to chipper stall camels. I'm just gonna get some more um, balloon traps here to defend any camels if they get past. Uh, just do a... Okay, actually I don't think it's worth it because there's big balloons slow. Uh, I'll just continue saying... Oh, no, 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 no. Round 22 is fast cooldown ZMGs. This loadout will not defend fast cooldown ZMGs. Never. So I probably should build defense. Uh, I'll build some more Mollers targeting strong. Um, I think I'll do... Two BFBs and then some um, Camel Zebras. Is this gonna work? Oh, he might be dead. You need to get a Super Vec. Just Super Vec. Just Big Balloon Slow. What are you doing? He didn't Big Balloon Slow. He didn't build a Super Vec. Alright, game number 5. We've got Offside and I just realized I'm going to hit 7777 wins. It's gonna be pretty funny. Um, okay, here's our opponent. Consistency. Yeah, co consistency. That's what we want. Constant wins. Consistent wins. I think I'll also get the big one targeting at the bottom like this. Oh, he's gonna rush right now. Okay. One zero MG. I don't know if he's just testing me or if this is his all out. Okay, why did he DC? Come on. Come on, come back. Is he not coming back? Why is there an L over here? <laughs> I just realized he just put an L. Is this L for me or for him? I guess it's for him because he's gonna DC. Right now I've got a 5 win streak and this is going to be the end of part 1. I'm going to leave links to the later parts in the description. I don't know how many parts there's gonna be because I might choke and lose. But that's gonna be it for part 1. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.